Hello and welcome to Invention Insider. Today we will look at the history of plastic and the man behind it, Leo Hendrik Beekland. Leo Hendrik Beekland was a Belgian-born chemist who emigrated to the United States in 1889. He was a man with a passion for experimentation and a desire to create new materials. In 1907, Beekland began experimenting with phenol and formaldehyde, two common chemicals found in nature. He mixed the chemicals together, heated them, and was surprised to discover a new, hard, and heat-resistant material. He called it Bakelite. Bakelite was the first truly synthetic plastic, meaning it was not made from natural materials like rubber or cellulose. It was also the first thermosetting plastic, meaning it hardened when heated and could not be remolded. This made it particularly useful in manufacturing of electrical components, like insulators, switches, and plugs. Bakelite quickly found a variety of uses in industry and consumer goods. It was used to make everything from radios and telephones to jewelry and kitchenware. Its popularity soared in the 1920s and 1930s, earning Beekland the nickname the father of the plastic age. Beekland's invention of Bakelite not only revolutionized the world of materials, but it also paved the way for the development of other synthetic plastics, such as nylon and polyethylene. Today, plastic is an integral part of our daily lives, and we have Leo Hendrik Beekland to thank for it. It's worth noting that, despite the many benefits that plastic has brought to our lives, it has also become a major environmental problem, with plastic pollution affecting oceans and ecosystems worldwide. The invention of plastic by Beekland was truly a double-edged sword, it brought convenience and progress but also a host of environmental issues that need to be addressed. The problem with plastic is that it is not biodegradable, meaning that it does not break down naturally in the environment, and takes hundreds of years to degrade. This has led to plastic waste accumulating in landfills, oceans, and other ecosystems, causing harm to wildlife and marine life. To combat this problem, it is important that we reduce, reuse, and recycle plastic as much as possible. We should also support new technologies and innovations that can help to reduce plastic waste and pollution, such as bioplastics, which are made from renewable materials such as corn starch, and can be broken down by microorganisms in the environment. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe and like for more videos.